Scarborough Beach is one of several beaches on the metropolitan coastline and located just 14 kilometres from central Perth. With its natural beauty, great wave break and accessibility, Scarborough Beach has traditionally been and continues to be a major day trip and tourism beach in the Perth metropolitan area. Nearly two million people visit Scarborough Beach each year, but it is yet to fully realise its potential as a major tourism destination. The City of Stirling has a vision that sees Scarborough Beach enhance its role as the heart of the Sunset Coast by fostering the area's tradition, its natural attractions and unique lifestyle, whilst welcoming everyone all year round. To achieve its vision and realise the potential of Scarborough, the City has developed the Scarborough Beach Urban Design Master Plan, which covers the area between West Coast Highway and the Indian Ocean extending north to Reserve Street and south to Parkland near Brighton Beach and Brighton Road. The master plan manifests the vision for Scarborough in a physical sense and the result will be that Scarborough will play many roles. An international, interstate and regional tourism centre, a family beach, a surf beach, an activity centre and a provider of district services, retail outlets, entertainment and recreation. The master plan caters for the future of Scarborough through careful consideration of movement, place marking and activity, sustainability and climate change, urban design and infrastructure and governance. It is much more than just a site plan for recreational activities and car parking. The individual components of the Scarborough Beach Urban Design Master Plan can be seen on this map. Additional steps will be added to the amphitheatre and the facility upgraded and improved. A market square will be incorporated around the clock tower which will remain in its current location. Pavilions for cafes, restaurants and retail will be built. Development sites for cafes, restaurants and retail will be created. The feasibility of extending and adding a second storey to the Surf Life Saving Club will be assessed. Emergency vehicle access will be improved. A plaza-style entry will be constructed at the western gateway to the beach, incorporating public transport infrastructure. A dual-use cycle path will extend along the full extent of the beach adjacent to the esplanade. A dedicated surf park will be created in the north and a family park in the south. The family park will also feature a performance space, water play area, change rooms and toilets. The Esplanade will be landscaped and beautified to become a promenade with ocean views. Additional beach access will be built. A new playground will be built at the southernmost part of the area. West Coast Highway will be realigned and beautified. A lower promenade and upper promenade will be built. Car parks will be upgraded and some fitted with a car park guidance system. Entry smart parking signage will be installed at the north and south entry points on West Coast Highway. A local playground will be nestled between the surf parks. A dedicated kite and windsurfing area and facilities will be provided near the surf beach. The Brighton kiosk will be upgraded and extended as will change room and toilet facilities. Transport will be catered for with the provision of a bus layover, pick-up and set-down stands and a taxi stand. A significant element of the master plan includes the development of a West Entry Plaza. This will invigorate commercial activity and the image of the area by providing a gateway line with iconic street trees that emphasise the central view to the ocean and clock tower. Footpaths will be widened to accommodate more activity and pedestrian movement. The configuration also allows for future light rail, while in the interim accommodates taxis, private vehicles and emergency vehicles, PTA bus stands and drop-off and pick-up points. Plans to redevelop Rendezvous Observation City are in place and have been approved by the City with overwhelming support from the local community. The reinstatement of the Esplanade as a major feature of Scarborough Beach will provide a vibrant urban edge to the beachfront with retail outlets, restaurants and cafes creating a prominent address for adjoining developments. 
the articulated street will feature narrow lanes, central median street trees, pedestrian crossings and widened footpaths. An elevated continuous pedestrian promenade will run alongside the esplanade, providing unsurpassed ocean views. Public art, kiosks, shade structures, seats and landscaping along the promenade will celebrate the significant cultural history of Scarborough Beach. Key players in hospitality have already shown interest in proposed commercial sites along the esplanade. Weaving its way along the beach will be the lower promenade, an informal interactive space with a focus on health and activity. Different activity nodes sequenced along the promenade provide for all users with family playgrounds, timber boardwalks, lookouts, beach showers, kiosks, covered barbecues, artwork, shade structures, seating and even a complete fitness course. A designated surf beach park will cater specifically for all types of surfers, with a surf craft wash down area, toilet and change rooms as well as dry storage space. The Southern Parkland has a family focus, with a combined children's play space and water fun park, with covered barbecue areas, shelters and tables nestled into the dunes. The large splash pad and interactive sprays and fountains will be within clear sight lines of the proposed retail and surf lifesaving club and serviced by new toilets and change rooms as well as the Brighton kiosk. A market square between the West Entry Plaza and the Amphitheatre will be a flexible space changing during the day and season depending on the program. A market square between the West Entry Plaza and the Amphitheatre will provide a flexible space changing during the day and season depending on the program. Coastal style retail food and beverage pavilions will extend to the north and south of the market square. The City of Stirling has invested $12 million of its ratepayers' money into the development of Scarborough since 2005 and this has attracted over $285 million worth of private investment into the area, including Seaview, Rendezvous Observation City and the White Sands Hotel developments. The success of small bars in Scarborough and the new restaurant at the Seaview development show the plan is on track for success. To fulfil the Scarborough Beach vision, the City of Stirling needs significant state and federal government funding. The full implementation of the master plan is budgeted at $58.5 million, but based on AEC Group estimates. This investment will produce an output of $777 million to the WA economy. So let's work together and reinvigorate Scarborough Beach and give Perth a truly great coastal tourist destination. Western Australia deserves it.